and welcome back to my channel. So today we are in London and I thought I'd vlog a little bit because there's a couple of Harry Potter related things we're going to be doing today. So first off, we're going to be going to the British Library for the Harry Potter exhibit that they have. I'm not sure if they're going to allow us to film in there, but I will try my best and if nothing else, hopefully I can get some footage of the store itself. Um, and then we're going to go to King's Cross, so to platform nine and three quarters. I did do that in a previous video, so if you can check that out. Last year when we did the trip here to London, we went to King's Cross, but this year, let's see what's changed, look at the store and all the fun stuff. Um, and then we're gonna try to go to the Milima store and just a lot of fun Harry Potterness. So if you're interested, then stick along. <laughs> no video as well so I didn't get too much footage but uh, there is some footage I highly recommend it I hope that they tour this exhibit around because it was just really magical there was so much attention to detail it's the kind of exhibit that 
you should look not just at the display cases but all around you and listen to things and uh, there's some interactive components so it was really really nice I highly enjoyed it and highly recommend it if you can still manage to get tickets here in London or if it tours definitely check it out in your city um, also saw the stores so I'm sure I've inserted footage of all of that or will at some point but yeah now we're gonna go to King's Cross station and we're gonna check out platform nine and three quarters and see what's new in the shop there I did purchase a couple of things at the uh, British Library but we'll see what they have at platform nine and three quarters but this is like next level. There's even a line to get into the shop itself. It was quick, it didn't take that long, but it's crazy inside. Like, I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, oh, you can see all the people in the background. There's just like craziness amount of people, but look, it's mad. to House of Mina Lima. So it's actually quite close to the theater where they're doing the Cursed Child play for Harry Potter. And I'm really excited to visit House of Mina Lima because this is the design duo that was behind a lot of the graphic artwork that was included in Harry Potter and also now in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. So yeah, this store is beautiful. I love all the decorations and yeah, let's check it out. You can actually find all of the prints that they create uh, related to Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts and you can purchase them at the store. They're so pretty. Is it crazy that I totally want to decorate our house like this? I just love everything here. It's so amazing. Alrighty, so we're gonna go upstairs now and check out the other three floors, which are all basically like an exhibit of the artwork that they created for Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts.
And now we've come for dinner. I'm so excited. Some yummy Szechuan food at Bar Shu. Oh, this looks so good. The Leicester Square Lego store is such an attraction. There's so much to see here. It's really cool. Definitely come check it out if you're in London. Can we please talk about this Millennium Falcon Lego figure? Oh my god, it is about 900 Canadian dollars, over 7,000 pieces, and from it, all I really want are these adorable porgs. just witnessed an amazing day that I spent in London when I was recently in the UK and it was a magical Harry Potter filled day with a little bit of Lego thrown in and Star Wars thrown in at the very end. I hope you enjoyed all of that and what I thought is because one I forgot to you know film an outro where I basically said goodbye in the video and two because I don't want to do a separate haul video I thought I would basically come in here at the end and say thank you for watching so far in the video and now we're going to finish it up with my haul from London. I will start off with my items from the British Library. So earlier in this video I took you guys with me to the British Library. They have a Harry Potter exhibit which I felt that the exhibit was really cool, very interactive. They had a lot of awesome elements, um, a lot of detail. Like there was one section that talked about Quidditch and the idea of, you know, brooms through history and their association with witches and how JK Rowling came up with the concept of Quidditch as a sport. And it was really cute because you could hear a golden snitch fluttering around. And if you looked up into like, there's like a paintings of bookshelves just above the exhibit itself, you could see a little golden snitch being like projected on and it was just fluttering around. And I thought that was such a cute detail. Um, one of my favorite elements as well was an interactive section for divination where they actually go into allowing you to select cards and it's a little bit of a tarot card reading. I thought that was really cool. So the whole exhibit I thought was absolutely magical. I really thoroughly enjoyed it and I purchased a couple of items in the actual shop that they had at the very end. So let me show you guys what those are. So. First thing is first, you can pick up these. You can pick these up regardless of if you go into the exhibit or not. They're just a little bit of um, an exhibit guide that goes into the different areas in the exhibit. So again, this particular exhibit is meant to basically discuss not just how JK Rowling came up with the concept of Harry Potter. So there's excerpts from the books, there's the whole publishing process, editing process. You see a lot of her manuscripts for the books and her notes in the margins and everything. It's really cool. Cool. but also it goes through different areas um, where you talk about or where they display to you sorry um, history of magic so how in literature witches or magic has been displayed alchemy all of that so you start off with the journey so basically JK Rowling's journey of coming up with the idea of Harry Potter potions alchemy charms there's herbology astronomy divination defense against the dark arts care of magical creatures and then they tie it all in together with past present and future again how Harry Potter itself evolved into the phenomena that it is today it's a great exhibit I really hope that they tour this around the world because a lot of people will want to see this and deserve to see this is just it was fabulous I absolutely recommend this if you still can manage to get tickets I believe it's sold out goes until February 28th but uh, hopefully they add more dates and like I said hopefully they tour it around 
So from the exhibit itself, I purchased two items, one being this. So I've always gotten the magic frogs, the chocolate frogs that you get from the Universal Orlando Studios. Um, those ones are the ones, the big ones that come in the big box. Do I have one here? Yes, I do. Oh. <laughs> so these ones are the ones that I've gotten in the past and this is just solid chocolate. It is amazing. I absolutely recommend this. I love it. So good. If you love chocolate, if you love milk chocolate, like this is incredible. Oh my God, let me not break anything. There we go. <laughs> and this one, I have seen other people in their halls talk about this particular version of the chocolate frog. It's smaller and apparently it's got crisped, crisped <laughs> rice in it. And I'm very excited to try this out. So that's why I purchased one. It's still, I can feel it in there. There is a, a wizard's card in there. So how about we crack it open and check out which wizard's card we got. Let's see. Oh, I got Professor McGonagall. That is so cute. Okay, I'm very excited to try this out and also to read this in more detail, but that is purchase number one that I made while I was at the British Library. And purchase number two is, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear this item. I'd heard about these online. So they are from the um, Noble Collection. They've done a jewelry line and this is a pricey item. Definitely <laughs> no qualms about it. It is a pricey item. It is an investment, but I know that I will cherish this so much um, I love a good fandom jewelry. If you guys watch my videos, you will know that I, I love wearing my Fandoms as my jewelry choices. I actually have right now my golden snitch I don't know if you guys can see it there, but I've, I've shown that in many other videos um, I, I love wearing jewelry that relates to the things that I love and I'm passionate about and this is just a gorgeous piece So it's a little fire bolt and it's got um, a little golden snitch Oh, it moves, it's whimsical, it relates to Harry Potter, so what more could I ask for, right? It's meant to go as a charm on a bracelet. I'm personally going to buy a necklace or a chain and put it as a necklace for myself. It's golden, so I do wear a lot of like gold jewelry, so I think it'll just be beautiful. And I'm just so happy that I found this item. They have a lot of different ones. They have Hogwarts the castle, they have uh, Dobby, but you know what? I will show you all of those because I actually got to go to the Noble Collection store itself and I will show that in a separate video or did I show it in this video? No, it'll be in a separate video. Um, so it's in a separate video where I just fully walk you through the whole entire Noble Collection store, which I highly recommend if you're in London and you can go check that store out. It is beautiful, really, really check it out. It feels more like a museum than a store itself. Um, so this was a lovely purchase that I got to make, not at the Noble Collection store, but at the British Library store. Um, and I really enjoyed this one. So last year when I went to London, I went a little bit bananas at the Platform 9 and 3 quarters store. It was my first time. Um, the store wasn't as busy as it was this year, so I really got to purchase quite a few items So if you've seen that video, you will know what I'm talking about, but this year I was a little bit more tame It was hectic as can be in there So many people there was even a line which mind you moved quickly, but there was still a line to get into the store it was just madness. Um, so I didn't really get to look around or film too much for you guys, but still, um, you have some footage. Uh, I think that they've done a great job. I feel like the store, I don't know if maybe last time I was in my excitement, didn't get to see as much of the details, but I feel like they've expanded a little bit, made it even more detailed. It's the kind of store that don't just look at your eye level at the shelves, but look up, look around because there's so many hidden details. There's little Dobbies that are hiding or Hedwig who's also hiding like in little corners and areas all around the store. It's just a really cute store. It's lovely. It adds to the experience of being at platform nine and three quarters and taking your picture crossing the threshold so again if you're in London definitely check it out it's a really cool experience so at the store this time what I picked up was just one item um, is this t-shirt 
So if you have seen my Primark video, you will know that I have uh, another Marauder's Map shirt, um, which I picked up at Primark. And I have to say the Primark shirt, I think is just amazing. I love the carried, the Marauder's Map design to the back, to the arm sleeves, to like the whole entirety of the shirt is all Marauder's Map themed. This one is lovely nonetheless, and I will definitely be wearing this one. It's just a really beautiful Marauder's Map design. It's gorgeous quality. It's like a thicker sort of uh, jersey material, really great t-shirt. The Primark one is a very thin material, so it's really nice for like really hot days. I feel like it's going to be really nice kind of loose shirt to wear, but this one is a thicker material great for you know lazing around the house or even just wearing out and about it is pricey like all things i will warn you at the platform nine and three quarters shop they are pricey <laughs> you'll find some good deals but they're still um they most items are pricey and because i purchased it at the platform nine and three quarters shop let me show you guys here it does have the platform nine and three quarters emblem on the sleeve of the shirt itself and I just thought this was a really cool addition to my collection. The next place that I took you guys in this video was the Mina Lima shop. So this store also is such an experience. It's not just a shop. I feel like it reads more like a museum, like an art gallery type museum where you see so many beautiful prints that Mina Lima, the design team behind Harry Potter and now also Fantastic Beasts and where to find them they just display all of their beautiful artwork in this particular uh, building. So it's four stories, if I remember correctly. Um, and it's just, it's magic. I mean, from the floorboards to the stairwell going up to the other levels, they have just gone above and beyond making this an experience. It is the kind of store that you, if you love Harry Potter, I cannot recommend enough that you seek out this store and you go check it out. I will leave uh, links to all of these stores or all of these exhibits or all of this, you know, down in the comments, or not comments, sorry, in the description box down below. Um, so you can check them out yourselves. And also I will leave the addresses for each of these because they are worth checking out. They're not too far from each other. You know, we walked around all day long. So we walked from place to place. Things were easy enough to get to. Um, so definitely check it out. But um, from their particular store, Mina Lima, who by the way is like right around the corner from the cursed child uh, Harry Potter play so if you want to see the theater or if you have tickets to see the play then this store is right around the corner check it out um, so from them what I purchased is continuing on <laughs> with my Marauders uh, map theme I purchased this print so this is a postcard, so simple enough postcard, but uh, just like you guys might have seen from my recent uh, haul video from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando, I picked up more Mina Lima uh, postcards that are related to all of the books. And those I am planning on putting up uh, as artwork in my home. And this one is the same sort of idea. I plan on putting this up on display in my home. The other item that I purchased at the Mina Lima store was this set of gorgeous magnets. So these ones are from the Daily Prophet, so they're different front pages of the Daily Prophet, and I think that they are absolutely beautiful. Again, this is the type of thing that you can purchase at the Mina Lima store, and they also sell their items at a lot of different stores, so we saw them at the uh, Warner Brothers Studio Tour, they obviously have them as well in Orlando. I think even a couple of stores, you know, internationally sell their items. So look for their licensed materials elsewhere. But um, you can purchase this as magnets. They also had these as postcards and you can buy the big prints. So the actual printouts of the front pages of the Daily Profit. I thought this was really fun. I definitely will put these on the fridge and elsewhere throughout the house because I think they're just really cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video where I took you along with me on a really Harry Potter filled day through London. And at the end here, we have capped it all off with, you know, a little bit of a haul from the things that I purchased throughout my time in London. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you also check out the other London related content on my channel. So like I briefly mentioned, I got to go to the Warner Brothers Harry Potter studio tour. So the making of Harry Potter 
studio tour, which was an incredible experience. Check it out. Um, and I also got to go to the Noble Collection store. And in general, there's just, there's a lot of Harry Potter content on my channel. So if you like that, then make sure to check it all out. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.